Hello, art lovers and history buffs. Welcome to a vibrant exploration through time, where the hues and tones of our narratives are only rivaled by the wide-ranging artistry found within the 2SLGBTQIA community. Prepare yourself as we embark on an artistic journey, painting a vivid tableau of rebellion, love, and the vast spectrum of queer and fabulous expressions of identity. Let's remember that the only straight lines to be found are largely in geometry. We delve into history, dusting off the cobwebs of forgotten stories to reveal the influential figures who shaped the narrative. Today, we're focusing on three remarkable women, Rosa Bonheur, Marie Laurencin, and Tamara de Lempica. Bonheur, a woman ahead of her time, was known to rock the boat, and not just in her choice of clothes. Can you believe she needed to get a permit to wear pants? This was a clear sign of a world bound by strict, colonist norms, but more than just a trendsetter in fashion. Bonheur pioneered animaliere, a genre of art dedicated to the representation of animals. Through her work, she breathed life into canvases, capturing the grandeur and dynamism of horses in motion, as seen in her work, The Horse Fair. Next, we journey through the dreamy world of Mari Lawrenson. Traversing beyond the confines of gender norms, Lawrenson's paintings depict ethereal figures suspended in dreamlike landscapes, challenging traditional femininity. The soft pastel hues of her canvases stood in stark contrast to her contemporaries, introducing a fresh perspective to the art world, challenging norms with every delicate brushstroke. And finally, we step into the Roaring Twenties with Tamara de Lempica, a leading figure of the Art Deco movement. Lempica's style was bold and glamorous, with her portraits capturing the elegance and decadence of the era. Her work, such as Tamara in a green Bugatti, not only showcases her distinctive artistic style, but also embodies her persona as the epitome of a modern, independent woman. Let's take a moment to appreciate these trailblazers and the imprints they left on the canvas of history. A star of the Art Deco movement, her Tamara in a Green Bugatti, not only showcases her unique style, but also her persona as the quintessential modern independent woman. Moving on to the 20th century, where the art gets bolder and the stories queerer. This was an era marked by an explosion of creativity and self-expression, where societal norms were challenged and creativity knew no bounds. The 20th century brought forth a plethora of pioneers in the world of art, but three artists stand out for their distinct perspectives and commitment to highlighting the complexities of human existence and identity. Claude Cajon, Romaine Brooks, and Jasper Johns. Stepping into the limelight first is Claude Cajon, whose self-portraits make a profound statement about the fluidity of identity. Cahan's self-portraits are not just a reflection of her own image, but a declaration of her defiance against societal norms. Each photograph captures a different facet of her identity, reflecting her belief that we are not confined to a single static identity. With a camera as her weapon, Cahun's artistry pushed the boundaries of self-portraiture, creating images that could out-selfie any social media influencer today. Her work was a masterclass in subversion, challenging traditional gender roles and societal expectations while boldly striding into uncharted territories of artistic expression. Romaine Brooks, on the other hand, painted her subjects in such an enchanting light that even the moon would be envious of her luminosity. Her paintings were a reflection of her unconventional lifestyle and identity, with her muted color palette and haunting portraits capturing the essence of gender non-conformance. Brooks's work was a bold statement in the world of art, with her female subjects often appearing as both powerful and vulnerable. Her paintings offered a window into the complexities of gender and sexuality in the early 20th century, exploring the multifaceted nature of the human condition. Last but not least is Jasper Johns, whose work took the mundane and transformed it into profound contemplations.
Johns's flag paintings are iconic in the world of pop art, as his exploration of themes such as perception and identity blurred the lines between the everyday and the extraordinary. His ability to transform common symbols into compelling works of art highlighted his unique perspective, making the viewer question the nature of familiar objects. Johns transformed mundane icons into profound contemplations with his flag paintings, his exploration of themes like perception and identity blurring the difference between what is real and what is surreal. As post-war society began to reconstruct, a new wave of queer art emerged, contesting established norms and reshaping artistic perceptions. One of the most notable was Felix Gonzalez Torres, whose minimalist creations encouraged individuals to formulate their own interpretations. His notorious candy piles, representing the gradual physical wasting due to AIDS, offered a poignant critique of life's transience and the universal experiences of love and loss. In a similar vein, artist Francis Bacon used art as a mirror to our vulnerabilities. Bacon's raw and stirring paintings dug deep into human sentiments, laying bare his personal struggles and societal pressures about homosexuality. His art serves as a powerful probe into the human psyche, a striking tribute to the challenges and victories of the queer community. We also need to shine a spotlight on J.C. Leyendecker. His work played a significant role in reimagining men's fashion, making it as striking as a royal wedding. His creation, The Arrow Collar Man, revolutionized the concept of American masculinity, infusing it with undertones of homoeroticism. Leyendecker's work subtly but surely contested conventional views of masculinity and desire, laying the groundwork for a broader representation of identities. These artists, each in their unique ways, impacted the queer subcultures of the post-war period. Their work stands as a testament to the resilience and innovation of the LGBTQ community. Their enduring influence continues to provoke and inspire us, underscoring the transformative potential of art. As we progress, we carry their narratives with us, a constant reminder of the vibrant history that has shaped the queer art of the 21st century. As we delve deeper into the 20th century, the AIDS crisis loomed large, casting its terrifying shadow over the queer community. The adversity was harsh, yet the community's creative spirit stood firm, unbroken. Artists emerged, igniting a flame of activism through their craft. Artists like Keith Haring, David Wojnarowicz, and Felix Gonzalez Torres utilized their talents to express their pain, while also fighting, remembering, and inspiring hope. Keith Haring, renowned for his dynamic figures and symbols, added a vibrant voice to New York's visual language. His work, teeming with life and movement, functioned as a rallying call. Haring was an advocate for 2SLGBTQIA rights and raised the alarm about the AIDS crisis. Diagnosed with AIDS himself, Haring used his art as a medium to communicate the gravity of the crisis. His work became a platform to confront the stigma and ignorance that shrouded the disease. David Wojnarowicz, another influential figure of the time, created work that was a rich blend of personal and political sentiments. His art directly confronted the lack of concern expressed by the world about the AIDS crisis. His images, raw and layered with emotion, stood as a powerful testament to the struggles and resilience of those affected by this disease. His work demanded attention in a society that often preferred to look away. We encounter Felix Gonzalez Torres once more. His minimalist aesthetic, transformed into a potent tool, addressed the AIDS crisis. His installations of candy piles, each piece representing a life lost to AIDS, offered a poignant critique on the fleeting nature of life and the devastating impact of the disease. His work resonated with profound loss and an unwavering hope for a better future. These artists harnessed and transformed the pain of the AIDS crisis into a rallying cry for change. Their art became a lighthouse of resistance and hope. They weaponized their creativity to fight against the disease, remember those who had fallen and inspire hope for a future that was brighter and more accepting. 
These artists, through their work, turn the pain of the AIDS crisis into a rallying cry for change, their art serving as a beacon of resistance and hope. They use their creativity as a weapon to fight against the disease, to remember those who had fallen, and to inspire hope for a brighter, more accepting future. As we transition from the past and step into the present, let's delve into the evolution of queer art and its worldwide impact. Today's artists like Zainale Moholi, Kehinda Wiley, and Nan Golden bear the torch, pushing boundaries and extending the narrative. Queer art showcases more than a chapter in history, its glimpse of the future. South African visual activist Zainale Moholi uses her art to challenge the stigma that the 2SLGBTQIA community faces in her country. Her powerful portraits provide a raw look into the lives of South Africa's queer community. Each frame highlights their struggles, resilience, and beauty. Each image stands as a testament to their courage, a celebration of their identity, and a call to action for equality. On the other hand, Kahinda Wiley, an American artist, is known for his vibrant and bold portraits. His disrupts traditional norms of portraiture by placing black and brown individuals within powerful and beautiful contexts. Wiley's work, including the iconic portrait of President Barack Obama, redefines identity and provides a fresh take on representation in art. His art asserts the place of queer people of color in the world, disrupting the narrative and reimagining the future. Nan Golden is another pioneer who uses her candid photography to capture raw moments of intimacy and vulnerability. Her work provides an unfiltered view of human connection within the 2SL Gautier Plus community and the AIDS crisis. Golden's art is a poignant reminder of the human side of the queer community, their love, pain, strength, and fight. These artists push boundaries with their creativity, expressing, challenging, and inspiring. Are not just creating art, they're creating dialogues, fostering understanding, and advocating for change. They contribute to the evolution of queer art, reminding us that it goes beyond mere colors on a canvas. We continue to explore the evolution of queer art. Let's remember that it is more than just colors on a canvas. It's a movement, it's revolutionary, and it's pushing for change. As we stand on the edge of a new era, we look forward to the future of queer art. This future promises diversity, growth, freedom, and global representation. Digital platforms provide an exciting new canvas for expression and innovation. Ultimately, it's the boundless potential of future queer artists that excites us the most. See you next time on 2SLGBTQ4U.